Hey, uh, my name's Andy and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm continuing with my MCU journey. We are about to jump into Doctor Strange. Now this one, literally the only thing I know is that it's got Benedict Cumberbatch in it, I believe. Aside from that, I don't know. I've obviously heard of Doctor Strange, but I'm not sure I'd ever kind of connected it with Marvel. I don't know why. <laughs> Is it a superhero or is it somebody that creates superheroes? I'm not sure. It might not be either of those things. So yeah, that's basically what I know, which isn't a lot. So probably best to just jump straight into this one. Before we do though, just a quick reminder that if you are into full length reactions, you can find the link to my Patreon in the description below. You'll find full length reactions to everything I've got on the channel, as well as early access to edited reactions. So if that's something that interests you, then check it out. Otherwise, let's jump into this. This is my reaction to Doctor Strange. Who are you? Okay. Sacrifice of some sort? Oh, it's him! Okay. I can't think of his name at the moment. Him. Okay. Well, that's weird. And terrifying. Oh my god. Is it like a race of people who have weird, fiery powers? Oh, okay. Escaping into our world, maybe? Oh, that is so weird. I was going to say that is so strange. <laughs> hmm. Or is this our world? I don't know. There he is. Oh, he's an actual doctor. What is it? GSW. Oh my god! It's Regina George. We left a bullet in his head. Thanks. It's impinging on the medulla. I needed a specialist. Nick diagnosed brain death. Something about that doesn't feel right to me. We have to run. So he's a good doctor then. Yeah, no, thank you. Image guidance stat. We don't have time for that. You can't do it freehand. I can and I will. I could absolutely not be a doctor or a nurse. I admire people that can do that, but no, absolutely not. Oh. <laughs> that's the image but I was thinking that's a the wrong angle. Then my cup down. Oh, the ooh. Look, I'm fusing transected spinal cords, and work I'm doing is going to save thousands for years to come. In ER, you get to save one drunk idiot with a gun. Yeah, you're right. In ER, we're only saving lives. Oh, wait a minute. You're not. You guys aren't. No, I have a very strict rule against dating colleagues. Oh, really? I call it the strange policy. Oh, well, good. I'm glad something's named after me. Oh, his name is actually Doctor Strange, then. Stephen Strange. Oh, 
Good grief. He's uh, not doing badly for money then. for me. I've got a 35-year-old Air Force colonel, crushed his lower spine in some kind of experimental armor. Uh, oh, shit. I have a 68-year-old female with an advanced brainstem glioma. Did you send me the... Got it. <laughs> shit. Oh, my God. Oh, f How the hell did he survive that? <sighs> oh shit, he really didn't. I mean, he did, but barely. What did they do? Eleven stainless steel pins in the bones. Multiple torn ligaments. Severe nerve damage in both hands. <sighs> No one could have done better. I could have done better. Of course, those were his job, weren't they? What he used for his job, he's kind of... I mean, I suppose he can still do the theory, he just can't... Give your body time to heal. You ruined me. That's a little unfair. Experimental and expensive, but possible. All I need is possible. Have you ever known anyone with nerve damage this severe to do this and actually recover? One guy, yeah. Broke his back. Paralyzed. A few years later, he walked past me on the street. Bullshit. Show me his file. You've always spent money as fast as you can make it, but now you're spending money you don't even have. This isn't medicine anymore. This is mania. Life without my work. It's still life. There are other things that can give your life meaning. Like what? Like you. Oh, wow. And this is the part where you apologize. This is the part where you leave. Fine. You care so much, don't you? Goodbye, Stephen. He's obviously just lashing out, isn't he? Oh, this is that file that the doctor got him got for him. I'm guessing. Talk a lot. Jonathan Pangborn, C7, C8, spinal cord injury. You came back from a place there's no way back from. Interesting. I'm trying to find my own way back. So he didn't take him on because he didn't think there was a chance. My mind was elevated. And somehow... Your body healed. Yes. The place you're looking for is called Kamartage, but the cost there is high. And once again, this is nothing like I expected it to be. <laughs> oh. I had actually forgotten about the people at the beginning. Shit. I don't have any money. Your watch. It's all I have left. Your watch. <sighs> Ow. <sighs> oh. You're looking for Kamata. Oh. It's him from Thingy. <laughs> Your 
Really? Might I offer you some advice? Forget everything you think you know. I feel like he lo he knows quite a lot, doesn't he? Doctor Strange, I mean, so that's going to be quite difficult for him. Um, thank you for... Whoa. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Ancient One, for seeing me. You're very welcome. Did you heal a man named Pangborn, a paralyzed man? In a way. How did you correct a complete C7-C8 spinal cord injury? Well, I didn't correct it. He couldn't walk. I convinced him that he could. When you reattach a severed nerve, is it you who heals it back together or the body? It's the cells. And the cells are only programmed to put themselves back together in very specific ways. Own body could be convinced to put itself back together in all sorts of ways. We're talking about cellular regeneration. No, Mr. Strange. I know how to reorient the spirit to better heal the body. I spent my last dollar getting here. One way ticket, and you're talking to me about healing through belief. You're a man looking at the world through a keyhole, and you spent your whole life trying to widen that keyhole, and now. You reject the possibility. No, I do not believe in fairy tales about chakras or energy. There is no such thing as spirit. But I see through you. Oh, f what did you just do to me? I pushed your astral form out of your physical form. What's in that tea? <laughs> what just happened? For a moment, you entered the astral dimension. Why are you doing this to me? To show you just how much you don't know. Open your eyes. Oh, Christ. I have goosebumps. Wow. At the root of existence, mind and matter meet. Thoughts shape reality. Okay, that's disturbing. No. Oh god. Worlds without end. Some benevolent and life-giving. Others filled with malice and hunger. No. Oh God. Who are you in this vast multiverse, Mr. Strange? <laughs> oh God. Have you seen that before in a gift shop? <laughs> Teach me. No. Oh, okay. No! No, 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 no! Is it because he's not humble enough yet? Was she the one at the beginning? Five hours later, he's still on your doorstep. There's a strength to him. I cannot lead another gifted student to power only to lose him to the darkness. Perhaps Kamataj could use a man like Strange. Thank you. The sorcerers of antiquity call the use of this language spells, but if that word offends your modern sensibilities, you can call it a program. We harness energy drawn from other dimensions of the multiverse to cast spells to make magic. Jesus. How do I get from here to there? How did you get to reattach severed nerves and put a human spine back together? Study and practice. Years of it. Mr. Strange. Uh, Stephen, please. 
And you are. Wow. Wow. Just Wong? Like Adele? You finished all of this? Yep. Come with me. All right. This section is for masters only, but at my discretion, others may use it. You should start with Maxim's primer. Oh, is this where they were at the beginning? What are those? The Agent One's private collection. Those books are far too advanced for anyone other than the Sorcerer Supreme. This one's got pages missing. One of the rituals was stolen by a former master. Just after he strung up the former librarian, relieved him of his head. Yeah, okay. If a volume from this collection should be stolen again, you'd be dead before you ever left the compound. What if it's just overdue, you know? Oh, you know, people used to think that I was funny. Did that work for you? <laughs> All right, well, it's been lovely talking to you. Thank you for the books and for the horrifying story. And Oh, the eyes don't look healthy. Oh, that's the thing we saw. Good grief. Dude, that is so weird, but really cool. Mastery of the Sling Ring is essential to the Mystic Arts. They allow us to travel throughout the multiverse. See the destination in your mind. Look beyond the world in front of you. He's starting to get frustrated, isn't he? At not learning quick enough. The gateway will come. I suppose he's used to, like... I would like a moment alone with Mr. Strange. Being the intelligent one. Or the most intelligent. It's not about your hands. How is this not about my hands? Master Hamir? Oh. Right, you don't actually need your hands. You cannot beat a river into submission. You have to surrender to its current. It doesn't make any sense. Not everything does. Your intellect has taken you far in life, but it will take you no further. Surrender, Stephen. Silence your ego. Come with me. Oof. Is this? Everest. At this temperature, a person can last for 30 minutes before suffering permanent loss of function. What? Surrender, Stephen. No, no. Um. How's our new recruit? We shall see. Any second now. Oh, no, not again. Maybe I should. Oh, he's nearly got it. That just randomly made me want to cry. The bit when he came back through, I mean. Not him shaving. <laughs> Stephen. Juan. What do you want, Strange? Books on astral projection. You're not ready for that. Try me, Beyonce. Oh, come on. Do you ever laugh? Oh, come on, just give me the book. No. Wow.
Now I'm told you question every lesson, preferring to teach yourself. You're advancing quickly with your sorcery skills. You need a safe space to practice your spells. You are now inside the mirror dimension. Ever present, but undetected. The real world isn't affected by what happens here. We use the mirror dimension to train, and sometimes to contain threats. Interesting. Hold on, sorry. What do you mean, threats? Learning of an infinite multiverse includes learning of infinite dangers. And if I told you everything else that you don't already know, you'd run from here in terror. So just, how ancient is she? No one knows the age of the Sorcerer Supreme. She made me what I am. Trust your teacher. And don't lose your way. Like I said this. That's right. You knew him. He was a grieving, broken man searching for answers in the mystic arts. He questioned the Ancient One, rejected her teaching. His disciples followed him like sheep. He stole the forbidden ritual, right? Yes. What did he do? No more questions. This is a relic. Some magic is too powerful to sustain, so we imbue objects with it. This is the staff of the Living Tribunal. Oh, Christ. When do I get my relic? You're ready when the relic decides you're ready. For now, conjure a weapon. It's gonna be a stethoscope. Fight like your life depended on it! Oh, God. Because one day, it may. This doesn't seem... Okay... Oh god... He's going to put that back to before the pages were stolen. A dark dimension. Eternal life. No! Tampering with continuum probabilities is forbidden. I, I, I was just doing exactly what it said in the book. You want to get stuck reliving the same moment over and over forever or never having existed at all? I really should put the warnings before the spell. Where did you learn the litany of spells required to even understand it? I've got a photographic memory. While heroes like the Avengers protect the world from physical dangers, we sorcerers safeguard it against more mystical threats. Agamotto built three sanctums in places of power where great cities now stand. That door leads to the Hong Kong Sanctum. That door to the New York Sanctum. That one to the London Sanctum. Together, sanctums generate a protective shield around our world. We sorcerers protect the sanctums. From what? Other dimensional beings that threaten our universe. Like Dormammu. Where did you learn that name? Just read it in the book of Cagliostro. Why? Omamo dwells in the dark dimension beyond time. Guy with the purple. 
a being of infinite power and endless hunger in the quest to bring all worlds into his dark dimension. I'm out. I I came here to heal my hands, not to fight in some mystical war. Hmm. London. Oh god. Is he in London or is he? I, I couldn't tell which way he went then. He's going to be in London, isn't he? Yeah. You can tell by the rain. <laughs> Shut the door! Oh, wow. <gasps> Jesus, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's not good. God. Stop! Oh. Shit. How long have you been at Kamataj, Mr. Doctor? Mr. Doctor? It's strange. <laughs> oh, this is not going to be good, is it? Oh god. He's not ready. Ooh. Although I suppose he's quite advanced, isn't he? Or at least he's advancing quickly, so maybe he kind of is ready? Ooh. That's a long corridor. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, nice. He's trying to switch the view, isn't he, so that he yeah. I don't think that's going to be very helpful. Oh. Ah! You don't know how to use that. <laughs> Oh, is that his thing? His artifact. Artifact? <gasps> Relic. Oh, is it trying to save him? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know what it's pointing at. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, stop it. Stop it. said stop it. You cannot stop this, Mr. Doctor. Why, look, I... Mr. Doctor. <laughs> All right, look. My name is Dr. Stephen Strange. You are a doctor. This world doesn't have to die, Doctor. Humanity longs for the eternal, for a world beyond time, because time is what enslaves us. Time is an insult. Sorcerer Supreme defends existence. What was it that brought you to Kamataj, Doctor? We all come with the promise of being healed, and instead the Ancient One gives us parlor tricks. The real magic she keeps for herself. You ever wonder how she managed to live this long? Hmm. What the Ancient One hoards, Dormammu gives freely. Life everlasting. Dormammu made you a murderer. Just how good can his kingdom be? You think that's funny? What's funny is that you've lost your slim ring. Shit! Oh shit! That's amazing. <laughs> oh, where are you? Oh shit, is he in the hospital? Sir, can I help you? Dr. Palmer, where is she? Oh, Christine! Oh my god. You gave me an operating theater now. Just you. What are you wearing? <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Just a little higher. Please be careful with the needle. Are you dead? No, Christine, but I am dying. Yeah. All right. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jesus. Ah! Oh. <laughs> hit me again. Stop doing that. Up the voltage and hit me again. No, your heart's beating. Just do it. You're, you're clearly in shock. <laughs> this is insane. 
Where are you going? A powerful sorcerer gave himself over to an ancient entity, tried very hard to kill me, but I left him chained up in Greenwich Village, and the quickest way back there is through a dimensional gateway that I open up in the mob closet. Okay, don't tell me. Oh, that is so cool. Strange. The cloak of levitation. It came to you. No minor feat. It's a fickle thing. He can fold space and matter at will. He folds matter outside the mirror dimension. In the real world. Yeah. The London Sanctum has fallen. Only New York and Hong Kong remain now to shield us from the Dark Dimension. You defended the New York Sanctum from attack. With its master gone, it needs another. Master Strange. It is Doctor Strange. Mr. Doctor? I swore an oath to do no harm, and I have just killed a man. I'm not doing that again. You want to go back to the delusion that you can control anything, even death. Which no one can control. Not even Dormammu. Talk to me about controlling death. Why well, I know how you do it. I've seen the missing rituals. Measure your next words very carefully, Doctor. What is he talking about? She draws power from the dark dimension to stay alive. That's not true. I've seen the rituals work them out. Once they regroup, the zealots will be back. Hmm. She's not who you think she is. You don't have the right to say that. You're a coward. Because I'm not a killer? These zealots will snuff us all out, and you can't muster the strength to snuff them first? What do you think I just did? You saved your own life! Even if there's another way. There is no other way. You lack imagination. No, Stephen. You lack a spy. Back. Shit. The mirror dimension. You can't affect the real world in here. They got his sling ring. I mean, they can't escape, right? <laughs> Oh, crap. Their connection to the Dark Dimension makes them more powerful in the Mirror Dimension. They can't affect the real world, but they can still kill us! Shit. Oh. Oh, good grief. Ooh! That Hi. is hilarious. Oh, there he is. Jesus Christ. This was a mistake. Yeah. Oh god. Oh. It's true. She does draw power from the dark dimension. Kaecilius. I came to you, Broken. Lost, and you fed me lies. I tried to protect you. I have a new teacher now. Dormammu deceives you. 
His eternal life is not paradise, but torment. <laughs> Shit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ, that's the real world. Christine! Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, my God. Nick, we need to relieve the pressure on our brain. We're losing her! I've spent so many years peering through time, looking at this exact moment. But I can't see past it. You think this is where you die? I never saw your future, only its possibilities. You have such a capacity for goodness. But not because you crave success, but because of your fear of failure. Arrogance and fear still keep you from learning the simplest and most significant lesson of all. Which is? It's not about you. You asked me how I was able to heal Jonathan Pangborn. He channels dimensional energy. He uses magic to walk. So I could have my hands back again. You could. I've hated drawing power from the dark dimension. Sometimes one must break the rules in order to serve the greater good. Mordo won't see it that way. Only together do you stand a chance of stopping Dormammu. I'm not ready. No one ever is. Look at me, stretching one moment out into a thousand, just so that I can watch the snow. Stop. God. Asilius? You're on the wrong side of history, one. She's dead. You were right. She wasn't who I thought she was. The dark dimension is volatile. What if it overtook her? She taught us it was forbidden, while she drew on its power to steal centuries of life. She did what she thought was right. Caecilius was her fault. And here we are, in the consequence of her deception. You told me once to fight like my life depended on it because one day it might. Well, today is that day. I cannot defeat them alone.
sector's already fallen. Shit. Don't mumble is coming. Nothing can stop you. Not necessarily. Oh God. Oh, time. <laughs> Spells working. We've got a second chance. Shit. God, they've got so much stuff to avoid. That's very cool, though. Nice. Oh! Breaking the laws of nature, I know. Don't stop now. The sanctum's restored. They'll attack it again. We've got to defend it. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Oh, that's weird. Can't fight the inevitable. A world beyond time, beyond death. Beyond time. He's obviously thought of something, I just don't know what. That's very pretty though. Like all the colours. He's gone. Even Strange has left you and surrendered to his power. No, he hasn't. Oh, God. I've come to bargain. Your world is now my world. Jesus. Okay. I've come to bargain. What is that illusion? No, this is real. Jesus. I've come to bargain. What is happening? Just as you gave Kaecilia's powers from your dimension, I brought a little power from mine. Time. Time. <laughs> I've come to bargain. <laughs> you cannot do this forever. Actually, I can. You and me, trapped in this moment, endlessly. Then you will spend eternity dying. But everyone on Earth will live. But you will suffer. Pain's an old friend. <laughs> this reminds me of that one Supernatural episode. You will never win. No. But I could lose again, again, and again forever. That makes you my prisoner. No! 
make this stop! Take your zealots from the earth. End your assault on my world. Do it, and I'll break the loop. Get up, stranger. Get up and fight. We can finish this. A world beyond time, beyond death. What have you done? I made a bargain. What is this? Well, it's, uh, it's everything you ever wanted. Eternal life is part of the one. You should have stolen the whole book because the warnings, the warnings come after the spells. It's <laughs> 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 oh, funny. We did it by also violating the natural law. Look around you. It's over. You still think there will be no consequences, Strange? We broke our rules just like her. The bill comes due. Always. I will follow this path no longer. Wise choice. Best not to walk the streets wearing an infinity stone. A what? You still have much to learn. Word of the Ancient One's death will spread through the multiverse. Earth has no Sorcerer Supreme to defend it. We must be ready. We'll be ready. Shit, so that was an infinity stone. You can fix it, maybe. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> so Earth has wizards now, huh? Tea? I don't drink tea. Well, what do you drink? Not tea. So I keep a watch list of individuals and beings from other realms that may be a threat to this world. Your adopted brother Loki is one of those beings. Worthy inclusion. Why bring him here to New York? Family drama, that kind of thing, but we're looking for my father. So if you found Odin, you'd all return to Asgard promptly? Oh yes, promptly. Allow me to help you. Can I help you? They carried you into Kamataj on a stretcher. Look at you now, Pangborn. So what can I do for you, man? I've been away for many months now, and I've had a revelation. The true purpose of a sorcerer is to twist things out of their proper shape. Perverting nature. Like you. I've stolen nothing. This is my power. Hmm. Power has a purpose.
Why are you doing this? Because I see at long last what's wrong with the world. Too many sorcerers. I know I say this literally at the end of every movie I watch, but that was not anything like I expected it to be. I... Uh, I don't know what I expected. I think I thought he was going to be maybe somebody that helped create superheroes or something. Or I don't I don't know what I thought he was going to be, actually. But it, it wasn't this. It wasn't anything to do with time and sorcerers and stuff like that. It was good, though. I, I did enjoy that one a lot. Not my favourite so far, obviously, because there's so many other movies as well, but... It's definitely not a bad one. I don't know if there is any other Doctor Strange specific movies, but I feel like once I kind of get to know more of him or get to see more of him, then he would stand a chance of being one of my favourites. Because like with Thor and with Captain America, both of those, yeah, I, I enjoyed their first movies, but it was definitely not until their second ones that I, I really started to kind of really like them so yeah Doctor Strange gives me that sort of vibe there's definite potential to like him a lot more once I see more of him type of thing so yeah it was good seeing so many actors in this that I recognize like obviously Regina George from Mean Girls we had Matey from Hannibal and obviously other stuff Death Stranding and whatever Mads Mikkelsen is the name and we had Thingy, the other guy, I don't know what the actor's name is, from Firefly as well, which was interesting. I did not expect to see him again, honestly. But yeah, it was, I enjoyed the story a lot and it had the right amount of humour in it as well, I think. The time stuff is definitely interesting. And I know that there's got to be like a way of figuring that out, or not figuring that out, but like making it have a consequence. Which there, there probably is. I mean, I know it was mentioned in the film that, you know, there's the risk of opening, was it a, a separate dimension or something or causing time to loop? So maybe he just got lucky at the end there, but they surely can't have a hero that can just turn back time because that's just like a plot armor for everybody all of the time. So they need to put some sort of consequence in place. Or maybe it's just enough that Doctor Strange knows of the risk so that he's not going to use it frivolously like that. I don't know. I'll be interested to see how they handle that kind of going forward because I'm assuming we're going to see more of Doctor Strange. So, but yeah, I think I'm going to wrap this up. So obviously if you've enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.